In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by Dino Tech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island. The sun hasn't quite set on Calder Park, not just yet anyway. But there are major changes ahead. All we've been told at the moment, Brett, is that um, as of the 15th of December, all Calder Park track staff um, will no longer be required and the new management will be making decisions as to what will be happening next year. Despite falling into disrepair over the past decade, it's worth remembering that Calder Park once did live up to its title as the centre of Australian motorsport. The Thunderdome drew big crowds and top international drivers. It held a round of the World Touring Car Championship, several hugely successful Australian drag racing nationals, and it kept the Australian Grand Prix alive at a time when nobody else cared or wanted to have anything to do with it. But it's a sad end for the era of Bob Jane and the circuit. Um, yeah, we're pretty gutted about it, uh, both Bob and myself, but we both realise that what's taking place is, um, is beyond our control. For competitors and fans, just what the change will mean is still largely unknown, although, according to Mr MacArthur, it will be business as usual, at least in the short term. We've been told that all track sponsorship that's actually currently in place will be honoured for 2013, which would, honor, which would mean there's, um, there's going to be something happening at Calder next year. George Haddad is one of Australia's top drag racing engineers and he's been coming here since the late 1970s. He says that whoever takes over, they need to talk with the competitors first. There's a lot of people involved in this industry um, and unfortunately, well fortunately for us, we've been coming here to nine, since 1978, we've been racing the Calder Park. And you know what goes on, how to do things and and I'm for, like if you don't have an idea how to do it, you need to listen to some of the people that have some, some experience, basically. Um, yeah, if they want a hand, we just have called a park at the moment, really. The last probably 10 years or so, we're always involved. Only because, you know, you want to race your car here, you've got your nephews, your, you know, customers' kids, there's a lot of kids want to race. Um, and if you don't have a place open for them, uh, you know, you lose all that generation of races really. Why should you get your car tuned with a Dynotech Dyno? Your car will be more fuel efficient. An accurate tune means saving money at the pump. Your car is safe. It never has to leave the workshop to be tested. Increased performance. Optimised fuel consumption and more power. Reduced emissions. Protect the environment by minimising your carbon footprint. To find your nearest Dynotech workshop go to www.dyno.com.au Dynotech by Dynodynamics.